It is Monday, the 8th of February, 2016, and this is Wayne Goldsboro Television. I'm Wayne Alley. And I'm Kate Daniels. And guess what, Kate? Today is New Year's Day. It sure is. Yeah, Happy New Year. Please clarify. Okay, clarify. Bye. It's Chinese New Year. Yes. Uh, Chinese New Year comes in with the new moon when when the moon when you don't you don't see the moon but it's there and it's dark you know the sun's on the other side of it that's when it comes in so it'll vary every year every New Year's is a, is a different date in okay. China but it goes for two weeks and then it ends New Year they celebrate New Year's for two weeks we it's a big party that's great yeehaw yeehaw whatever that means but because uh, I don't speak Chinese but uh, yeehaw and it uh, <laughs> it goes for two weeks and it ends in a full moon. At the full moon. So there you go. So happy New Year. Happy New Year. And I'll, we'll go into that a little more after the break, okay? Well, let's see what else we have here today being Monday and all that. Chris Lawson over at the, over at the museum oh, sent, yes. uh, sent a couple of notes to me here about Black History. February being Black History Month. There's going to be the Black History Quiz Bowl. Now, this is several years they've been doing this. It's for Wayne County students in the 6th, 7th, and 8th grades. And this will be held on Friday. Excuse me. We hold on Saturday, February 20th, 12 to 3 at the Wayne County Museum. Now to sign up, they need your name, the grade, the school, the rules, and the study material. Well, whatever. Call them and ask them what you need to find. And, uh, and you can get all that information from the Wayne County Museum. And it's sponsored by the Education Committee, Goldsboro Wayne Branch of the NAACP. Education Committee Chair is Keith Copeland. And there you go, Branch President Sylvia Barnes. So, the museum, a wonderful place to visit. It is a fabulous place. I love place. going there, and Chris is doing a great job he holding sure everything is. together. So, so anyway, the museum on at one sixteen North William Street. You can. I don't have a phone number. Seems like it's seven three something 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 something. Is that it? It's probably something like that. Something, something like, like that. that. Anyway, you can call the Chamber of Commerce, and we'll we'll hook you up with that phone number. I bet you can. We can. We can. All right. Anyway, it's February twentieth. Don't be late on that, and you have until a deadline of some kind to get your name in on that. That's right. How are you That's doing? That's right. I'm good. You're all perky and red this it morning. It is bright. Yeah, the only time a I'm Monday red. Monday morning. The only time I'm red is when I'm embarrassed about something. <laughs> you, know, you know how that is. And that happens a lot. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, it's Monday morning and all that. It sure is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh, oh, ooh, that's ooh. over. So that's that, over. Yeah, that was last week there. Here we that go. Was a, that was another great event at the Arts Council that one of too. Wayne yeah, County. Oh, boy, I'm telling Wayne you, we're we'll flying through these papers here. That's right. Okay, and that one too. All right. That one too. Praxis Film Festival yeah, that was this past was weekend, weekend yeah. in downtown Goldsboro at the Paramount Theater. And kudos to Jack Cannon and Sherry Archibald and all the individuals who brought this uh, to Wayne County. I mean, they have been mm. wildly successful. Yes, they have. And uh, I can't say enough about it. And people still don't know about it. I know. But I'll tell you what, if you're a movie buff or if you go to the movies in the buff, you need to go to this practice. Uh, prax praxis. It's not practice. They've got it down to an art. They've got it. <laughs> They've got it down to an art. It's not practice. It's praxis. P R E X. I don't know. Anyway. Oh. Anyway, but you got to wait another year now. <laughs> Sorry. Last week, uh, we we are asking trivia questions here. And last week, I our able team here reminded <laughs> me I missed answering one of the questions. I missed answering one of the questions. We're over here. We're over there. We're over there. Anyway. I missed answering one of the questions. I forgot all about it. So here you go. Here's the question. The category you may recall was the dead presidents category. And the question was, which president died within a month of inauguration of becoming president? And the answer to that question is Mr. William Henry Harrison. This was late in the 1800s, right, 1900, right around there. And he, uh, as he was giving, he loved to give speeches. And it was snowing and raining and icing that day in Washington, D.C. And it was absolutely freezing weather. And he refused to wear a hat or coat. His speech was too long. He caught pneumonia and passed away a month later. It was wild. Well, and I'll tell you, I'll take the blame for you not sharing it on air because we talked about it off air. Remember, we talked oh, sure about it. So I just, I got well, the answer I needed and I we know, rolled on. I know, but see, my attention span is like a, you know, like a gnat. But attention. I did not, I did <laughs> not, I did not know that. Isn't that wild? Yeah, it is wild. A lot of people don't know that, don't realize yeah. that. Okay. Have you got a new um, I a do new have one? A new one. Let's this, ask it real let's quick. Let's start we one, go. and we promise we'll bring you the answer before the end of the show. Television comedies. Okay. Is the, and these are not new ones. I don't know anything about the new comedies, but I know something about the old <laughs> ones. This guy and I are the same age. Okay. Okay. And I'm not getting into that either. I was about to say, are you going <laughs> to enlighten us? <laughs> no, I'm not. 
But everybody remembers, or a lot of people remember the TV show, which is still in syndication from the 60s or late 50s, Leave It to Beaver. Sure. Beaver Cleaver was the main character's name. And that young man was played by Jerry Mathers, with whom I spoke with several years ago on, on another, in another lifetime. But uh -huh. he's just the nicest guy. Born June 4th. Uh, anyway, he, uh, Beaver was a nickname. What was Beaver Cleaver's first real name, his given name? He had a name. What was it? All right? Okay. Okay? We'll go to our interview and we'll be back. Well, today we bring you here from Wayne Goldsboro Television, the Wayne and Wayne Show. <laughs> we want to welcome That's Wayne what? Aycock. Wayne is the former chairman of the Wayne County Board of Commissioners, and you are not in that chair now. Uh, Wayne Aycock uh, uh, gave us, uh, voluntarily, two years of his life uh, as chairman of the Wayne County Board of two, Commissioners. Two long years. Two long years. And I'll tell you what, my friend, these were tough years. We, we, we did a tremendous amount of work, or the board did a yep, tremendous amount was, of work. Yep, you yep. Comp we had a lot of accomplishments, and it, there were a lot of gains made. And uh, there was nothing, you can attribute that to nothing more than just hard work. You it got was, down it and was, dirty. I mean, it, it, was hard, it was hard work, and it was we. I mean, I, I really compliment the other six commissioners because this was this was a joint venture. I mean, you know, we we've worked hard, but but really we had a lot going on in the last. We're well, really the last three years. Yeah, oh. you did. Yeah, the last three years. And Wayne, I wanted to, I asked you to come in today that, so that we could just kind of reflect about how your your tenure was as chairman, how you uh, uh, how the board graciously accepted you again as as a, uh, the chairman for the second year in a row, yeah. which is not that common. That doesn't happen that often. So if you would, just kind of think back and give me some highlights about uh, your time as, as uh, the, uh, the uh, chairman of the Board of Commissioners. Okay. Uh, well, really, you know, we've, we've been on board now for three years, a little over three years. And uh, I think for most of us, other than Mr. Bale, uh, it was a learning curve. The first year was mm -hmm. a real learning curve yeah, for us because was, uh, I know I can speak for myself, and I think I can speak for some of the other commissioners. We kind of thought we knew what was going on when we were elected, <laughs> but when we got here, we found yeah. out there was a whole lot we didn't Surprise. know. So it was a real learning curve yeah. for all of us, uh, you know. And then we, uh, you know, we had a change of uh, leadership in in the form of the county manager, right. and uh, and that just added to and, the and chaos. It, it added somewhat. to the chaos because yeah. I was elected chairman. Uh, in December, the first meeting in December, and then uh, uh, our county manager uh, decided to move on, and th here we were with no county manager, uh, employees that needed some direction, and by me being chair, the rest of the board felt like that I needed to step up and and and. and Try to run things. So you're wearing two hats. I was one wearing as chairman for, and yep, one as yep, the for, for eight uh, weeks. I wore manager. I wore two hats for for eight weeks, <laughs> and, and and it was tough. Uh, we had some issues going on, but I knew we had a good staff. Yeah. And uh and so I just I pulled the staff together on the fourth floor, uh, as far as finance and the secretaries and all, and I made it very clear to them. I said, you know, y'all are going in different directions. I said. I need for y'all to pull together now. I don't know how to run this county. I said, but y'all do. I said, now just forget about what's gone on in the past. Let's take care of business. I will be here for you every day. But y'all have got to run the county because you know what to do. And and I could not have asked for <laughs> and this before Phil come on board. We, it was all we had. A, I had an all female staff. Right. And uh. And, but I could not have asked them to have done. Well, pulled together and done the, the job that they did. Well, I mean, I, it, it was amazing. I tell you, that little pep talk apparently worked wonders because they did. They pulled yep. together and they all got into one direction. And it. Uh, it and you it, were right. It, it's an it, amazing it, staff. It, it was. It's, it is. It is. And I can't yeah. thank them enough because uh, you know they sit up here and don't get a whole lot of praise sometimes. But that, it, all of them, it was. It was amazing the way they come together. Well, now I will say this about our finance department, particularly. They have won 
year after year after year after year statewide recognition right. for the work right. they do yep. and that's about all the all the recognition they yep. get so yep. uh, we do need to salute our our finance department yep. and all the fourth floor yeah because you're right they did come together and, and they they ran the county they did they were running the county i was just there i was just i was just kind of so something went the wrong whole, it was your fault then. well it was my yeah <laughs> Don't don't rub it in because okay. cause they they did enough of that. <laughs> oh, no. no, really, they told they they guided me through. I mean, they, you know, they said you know, read it before you sign it. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good thinking. Don't sign anything first. <laughs> I mean, really, they <laughs> <laughs> that's good really, advice. Really, really, they uh, and it, it not only just the finance. It was everybody that's on the fourth floor. Yeah. I mean, you know. Oh uh, yeah, everyone more than was finance, there. Though. Yeah, more than finance, sir. I mean, it was it was uh. They were amazing. Yeah. Well, let me ask you this. As your tenure as the uh, chairman of the Board of Commissioners for two years, what would you consider to be one or two, perhaps even three, of the highlights of that time? Well, first of all, not, it's really not a highlight, but uh, I'm so appreciative that the board, the rest of the commissioners, had the confidence in me to do it for two years. Yeah. Uh, because, you know, but we got we had so many things started that first year. Mm -hmm. I think that played into it. Well, it's <laughs> I can't say that it settled down any because we got just as much going on right now. But it it was time for a new chairman. Uh, I was getting tired, Wayne. To oh, be I'm honest, sure you I were. was I was I was getting yeah. tired, and uh, and having a new wife. Uh, I really won't really won't be in fire to her. But I get, I think that probably the first. Big highlight was the Steel Memorial Library in Mount Olive. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was, That's I mean, they had been trying to, to, to get that library for years and years. And, uh, and, and with the help of the other commissioners, we made it work. We made it work. That's a big one. That's a beautiful, That's a big one. beautiful library. That was, that was the big one the first year. Yeah. And, and along with a lot of other little things, I mean, you know, we had some department heads to, to change and new employees. And, and, but uh, the, the second year, the two big things, two biggest things, were the two new schools. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we sat down with the Board of Education, and uh, we didn't always agree, but we sat down and worked it out because the bottom line is the kids is what mm -hmm. is what it was all about. Well, you got to compromise. It's not you got to compromise. You can't always agree. If you yep. always yep. agree with everything, then you're not doing you're not doing the job. Right. Yep. You've got to. It takes compromise. You got to work it out, and you did that. Yep, it did. And and we got two beautiful schools. And yes. And uh, they're open and running, and uh, like I say, it's all about the kids. Mm -hmm. And then, and the next project that we, uh, uh, unfortunately, we had to tackle the issue about the detention center. Oh yeah. Uh, I mean, we were we were spending big bucks, close to a million dollars a year, on housing inmates in other counties. And uh, you know, we built a ten, twelve million dollar detention center, it, you know, at a million dollars a year going out, I mean in twelve years it'll pay for itself. That's right. And I mean that's it's not, not it's, that's not very long. Oh. It's not very long at all. But it's unfortunate that we've got to even build one. Uh, but it's it's one of the necessary evils that we that we have to look at and and uh and it will be the the Carrier Winders detention center, uh be named after our uh, former sheriff that we lost unexpectedly. Mm -hmm. Uh, great guy. I miss oh, yeah. him. I miss him. We all miss Kerry yeah. Windows, but I'll yeah. tell you something. That, that that new detention center, the reason it's being built says a lot about several things. One being our fine law enforcement yep. community. Yep. They're doing a wonderful job. Yep. And and crime is on the increase everywhere. We know that. It is. And it and is. the fact that we built the center, as you say, it cost us twelve million dollars, but we were spending that much a million dollars a year. Nine hundred some thousand. My will say my will say Well if you counties, if you figure in the the transport and back and forth and that it would probably oh, cost us over a million. Sure, sure it was. But the people the public general public doesn't realize that we have more inmates than we have space. Yeah. So yeah. you gotta put them somewhere. You can't yeah. let them go. Yeah. You gotta uh, yeah. so we're we're renting space from other counties. From other counties. And paying them a ton of money. A ton of money. So this yeah. is gonna save us a lot of money yeah. in the long run. Yep. Yeah. And then we'll be able to get our, garner some of that money back when we well, use, we hope so. We get some of their prisoners. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We hope so. Okay. And then the next the next big thing is our Ag Convention Center. Oh man. Um yeah, you know, we've we're we're in real close to I mean it's gonna happen. It's it will gonna happen. happen. And that's been a lot of effort from all of the commissioners. And I got to commend Commissioner Pate. That, that's been his baby. Yeah, it has that's been. That's been his baby. You know, yeah. but he couldn't done it by himself. We, we, there's been a lot of work put into that. And, uh, but it's going, 
it's going to work. I see that as we are way past go on that. We are uh, oh, yes. we're well into yes. this, and so yeah, it's going to happen. Well, you know, we uh, we announced today we have uh, uh, we're waiting on one more thing to come up, but we announced today, you know, the, the process that we're going to go through on on getting it built, mm -hmm. and uh, we're at thirty five percent as far as the architect, and and we've with moving forward today with uh, naming TA eleven is uh, the construction manager at risk. Mm -hmm. uh, now, TA-11 and the architect, H&H uh, &H architect out of Raleigh, they can sit down now and move forward. Yeah. They can they can go beyond the 35 percent. They can start working on, you know, it takes a lot of site work. So, I mean, they're, you know, they know what the what kind of the footprint's going to be, mm -hmm. but this is, I, you know, I'm not in the construction business, but I'm going to say this is going to move us forward probably a couple of months. Yeah, I'm sure. I mean, well, we're I, down to the, to the nuts and bolts. We're, we're down thing. to the nuts yeah. and bolts of it. I mean, there's yeah. a few more announcements that's got to be made and, and you know, and then in the near future they mm -hmm. will be. But uh, we're, it's, it's, this is going to be great for Wayne County and Goldsboro. And, that, yeah. and that's another thing too. The way the county and the city has worked together on this. Isn't that great? I mean, it's great. I mean, it's great. You know, we uh, we supported them in the in the downtown efforts to, for Center Street. Sure. And, uh, and you know, they the city had the land, uh, but this is a project that uh, the county couldn't done it by herself, and the city couldn't done it by herself. Exactly. Right. Again, it's compromise. It is. You got to work it out. And, and this is all about you know, Goldsboro, Wayne County. Oh sure. I mean, you know, just because you live in the city limits of Goldsboro, you still live in Wayne County. You know, there are some states in the union, like Virginia, where the cities and the counties are totally separate yeah, entities. Yeah. Yeah. There's not a city within a county. Yeah. But now here in North Carolina, we get along pretty well. Well, we get along. Especially I'm, I'm, right I'm, here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm real proud of the, yeah. what the city and the county's got going on. Yeah. Uh, and, and there's some smaller projects that we've worked together on also. I mean, it's just, it's, it's, it's good that we work together. Well, you know, today, um, we, we videotaped this on February 2nd, which was a, a meeting day. A meeting day. And I was just, it just really made me feel good to see the, uh, for Joe Daughtery, Chairman Daughtery, to mention the, all the work that's been done in the past year particularly, yeah, yeah. and to recognize all the work that was done by County Manager George Wood, yeah. and a standing ovation to Mr. Yeah. Wood. Uh, you guys you guys really put it to him, and he came through. We did, he uh, <laughs> he stepped up to the bat, and uh, boy was I glad to see him come on board. I was but too. he yeah. is, he's, he's amazing, he, yeah. the, the things that he can do. Yeah. And, uh, and then we, we, you know, we got an assistant county manager, which Wayne County had never had before. That's right. And Tommy does a fantastic He's job. He's doing a I great mean, job. I mean, George has, Mr. Wood has designated a lot of things yeah. for Tommy to do, mm -hmm. and uh, and that, they're a good team. Yeah. They are a good team. Well, again, it all falls back on you guys for yeah. making that selection, for yeah. choosing Mr. Wood, and and then for approving Tommy as well. Yeah. And I tell you what, we got it going here. We got it going, and and also today, you know, we got a, a report from our auditor. And, uh, oh, and, yes. and 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 uh, that that almost gave me goosebumps I because guess it did. because the, the the report that they gave us because I was I was so scared that cause, <laughs> you know with what we've done in the last three years I, far I as a new jail uh -huh. schools yeah. library convention center yeah. we spent a lot of money a lot of money and the report was the report, glowing report I mean the report shows that we actually are doing better than I mean it was it, it, it surprised me it I, I just figured yeah. we were going not not get bad figures or be no. disappointed or anything, but I just thought that that what we had done was going to reflect more on what we've got in reserve. I know, and it didn't. I mean, we've done all of this and lowered taxes. We've lowered taxes for the last two years. Tremendously. You know, we're fixing to start working on the budget for this yeah. for this next year. Uh, and I don't I don't know what we'll be able to do. I mean, I can't sit here and say whether we're going to lower taxes or I I, I feel confident we're not going to raise taxes. Mm -hmm. But but with what we've done. I was amazed that we've got basically it's just as much money in reserve as we did when we took off for three years ago. You know, I think everybody on the board was amazed at that report, and it you was an look absolutely at, glowing report. You could look could at the expression on the other commissioner's face because I think some of them were kind of like I was, and you know, we're probably not going to get as good a report as we've been getting, but it was. <laughs> it was. I thought I heard somebody say, man, did we do that? Yeah. yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. It was a good report. It was. Again, congratulations are in order for that. So where do we go from here, Wayne Acock? You is uh, now you're back as an are you you're still an at-large uh, commissioner, at -large commissioner, which means you answer to everybody. Everybody, 
Everyone. They all got to come knocking on your door saying, hey, yep. I got a problem. Yep. <laughs> yep. So where do we go from here? What's well, ahead for the commissioners? Well, we're moving, we're moving forward, and, uh, and Commissioner Dart is doing a good job. He, uh, he's a little more outgoing than I was, uh, but that's good. That's good. We need change. We well, need change. Change is good. But we've, you know, we're, we're working on this, this issue of the streets and some of the subdivisions yes. and, and the Ag Center, and uh, we're looking at, uh, you know, looking forward for the bypass opening mm -hmm. and uh, looking forward. We're looking forward. Uh, and, and Chairman Darty has really, his, his kind of pet peeve is extending 795. Yeah. And uh, we've been told that probably in March or so, we're going to have the new signs up that says future 795 from really? Goldsboro to Sampson County. Oh, that's wonderful. And, he, and he's really, he has really pushed that. Yeah. And, uh, and I've said the whole time, if we can, we've already got the north end finished. If yeah. we can get the south end finished, oh, man. the middle will come. That's right. I mean, They'll I all be mean, coming through I here mean, rather than I mean, going the, to the middle. The, the, the construction on the middle will happen then because there'll be so much pressure on the, on the folks in Raleigh. They ain't going to have no choice. They're going to have to finish that middle. That's right. They're going to have to do it. I mean, that's, it's, yep. yep. And that's it's going right. to be a, you know, a tie-in from 95 to Wilmington. Mm -hmm. or, straight from New York straight, to Wilmington. Yep, yep. Straight yep, down. Straight down. Rather than having to go around the bend, yep, yep, so to speak. Yep, yep. Well, look, I want to offer congratulations to you for a stellar career as chairman. Yep. Uh, wonderful job, and uh, uh, it, it's frightening to think of where we'd be if you hadn't done the fine work you did. Well, it, it, it won't, <laughs> again, it, it really, team, it really wasn't what I did. I mean, the, the other six commissioners need just as much credit as I, because this was we. It's a team. This effort. is we, and sure it's going to continue to be that way. This yeah. is, I mean, we set, you know, we we got. Uh, commissioners that sat on both sides of the aisle. Mm -hmm. but, That's true. But, but just like today, everything we voted on today was unanimous. It's all about you know what we can do for the citizens all of Wayne exactly. County. Exactly. You have the, it's the, the betterment of Wayne County. The but this of is County. this is a this is a joint effort. Well, Mr. Wayne Acock is an at-large commissioner for the County of Wayne here in Eastern North Carolina, and he is also the former chairman, two years running of that board of commissioners. Thank yep. you very much for being with us, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Our guest today is Crime Stoppers Coordinator Sergeant Paige Leonard of Crime Stoppers here in Wayne County. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I am really glad you're here because we want to talk about a crime that people, this upset a lot of people. Yeah. They, they got a restaurant that's very popular. Yeah. 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 What happened? Well, it, you know, it is a shame. And um, in this society, we always like to have our food delivered to us. Yes. If we can have that happen. Right. And unfortunately... Um, Papa John's Pizza, they had an employee working and this employee was delivering pizza to 914 North Madison Avenue here in the city and uh, as they were making that delivery they had three black males uh, approach them and rob them and obviously this startled the, uh, the employee and these subjects end up going through this, this uh, employee's car. They stole the employee's cell phone, their money, their GPS unit, some mm. sunglasses, and of course they stole the food. Mm -hmm. And then they fled on foot. And basically what we have is three black males in their 20s. One was wearing a black hoodie. Uh, and they fled on foot and they actually went um, east, which is basically towards Berkeley Boulevard right. to give people a gener general area. But, um, you know, it, this, this does, it, ignite anger in people just like any other robbery but sure. you know you've got a 20 some year old employee out there that's just trying to work and make a living and uh you know a lot of people like the convenience of having pizza delivered to the mm -hmm. house and it does make the businesses leery because they're sending their employees out there it's part of their service and they're getting robbed that's and right. so um you know we're just hoping somewhere out there somebody is talked and somebody will kind of give these suspects up and, and help us make an arrest it's kind of enough to really make you angry when right. these young people are out trying to earn a living like you say right and, uh, many of them have children to feed they have bills to pay like anybody else and these this this can be considered a job that just not anybody would take right but it's people that feel like they have to take it and they do it and, and many of them do enjoy doing this meeting new people delivering food making people happy right but then when something like this happens it really puts a stain on our community and so mm -hmm. we've got to stop this mess and uh, so if you know anything about this crime 
you need to talk to this lady right here, Sergeant Paige Leonard of Crime Stoppers. You see the, 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 the numbers at the bottom of the screen. That's right. And you know, one thing we actually did not discuss, it happened on January 30th. The 30th of yeah, January. Yeah, January 30th, and it happened at about 8.30 in the evening. That's good to know. Mm -hmm. And exactly, again, it was at 914 North Madison Avenue. And uh, obviously, that's still a busy time in the evening yeah. around Goldsboro. Yes, it is. So Well, and that's yeah. on a Saturday night. Yeah. That's a Saturday night. Uh, so think, think back. If you see anybody, remember somebody running right. or, or three individuals at that time of night, regardless of whether they're innocent or not, they need to be cleared mm -hmm. if they're not, if they're innocent. Right. It could be your brother. Could be. Could be your friends that came home with a GPS, some right. sunglasses that didn't belong with them. That's right. You know, a pizza box. Obviously, they didn't have the money for the pizza. Or maybe they came home with a couple extra hundred dollars that you know wasn't theirs. And the number is 919-222-4230. That's the text number, 919-222-4230. Or 919-735-2255. And let's remind them, they can also go on the Goldsboro Police Department Facebook site. That's right. And they can submit a tip through the anonymous tip line. And um, very simple process, and that's another way they can submit a tip. They don't have to talk to me if that makes them nervous. Mm -hmm. They don't have to text a tip line. You know, some people that makes a little nervous. It's just a third way to submit a tip. All they have to do is click on that application, and they can submit a tip. If there is a reward offered, would they still be eligible for the reward if Absolutely. they go online mm -hmm. and submit a tip that way? Yeah, if they submit it online, it's going to um, assign them a, a, a number, mm -hmm. and they will receive that number as they re as they are submitting that tip. Okay. Um, it's it, and the process is encrypted, so it's not traceable, so they don't have to worry about that. Mm -hmm. They can still check back in with me through that tip line. They'll have their tip number assigned to them, and it'll be given to them as they're uh, making that tip. Mm -hmm. So they can track it and they can call me back in and check in. And they're the only ones that can do that. That's right. You don't have any idea who these people are who are calling you. No. Don't want to know. Right. Absolutely. It makes it a lot easier, a lot cleaner to get the job done. Mm -hmm. Sergeant Page Leonard of Crime Stoppers, 919-222-4230, 919-735-2255. Thank you. Thank you. We're back on Wayne Goldsboro Television. Thank you for being with us. Yes. I, I think everybody's anxiously awaiting the trivia response. Really? I've been waiting. Is it that good a question? It's that good of a that question. That good a question. Okay, okay. Back in the earlier days of television, yes. TV comedies, very popular. Situation comedies, all kinds of stuff. I Love Lucy and everybody remembers those. But there was a TV show about a little boy by the name of Beaver Cleaver. And the name of the show, Leave It to Beaver, and start a cast of people that was just <laughs> wonderful. Tony Dow went on to be a big time producer. Uh, director, big time. He's still doing it. Well, he was. He's dead now. But no, he's not. But uh, the uh, the main character, Beaver Cleaver. Beaver was a nickname. He had a real a real first name. What was his real first name? The character's name was Theodore. That's it. Theodore. Theodore Cleaver. And it's funny when you hear that name, you can hear his mom yelling yeah. that. I mean, calling him to dinner yeah. and. That is wild. Beaver, pick up your books and go to school. Theodore. Uh, yes, Theodore. Theodore, she would say. But you know, she went on to, to uh, be one of the characters in the, TV, in the movie Airplane. Oh, I didn't know oh, that. Oh, she was hilarious in She's great. They, you what know, a great she's so show. prim and proper and everything. Yeah. And uh, uh, there was two gentlemen who spoke jive on the airplane. And they were trying to communicate with other people. Nobody knew what they were saying. Uh -huh. Well, here's, here's Beaver's mother, you know, June, standing up so prim and proper, and she spoke jive. It was so funny. <laughs> it was hilarious. Anyway, Theodore Aww. Cleaver, birthday today. That is wild. Here's what we have. Nick Nolte's having a birthday okay. today. Okay. He's an old man. Also a birthday today for, huh? He's okay. 74. 74. Christina oh. Farrar, the model, the actress. She's 66 today. Uh, Mary Steenburgen, isn't that uh, Ted, what's his name's wife? Oh, yeah. Man. She's 63 today. John Grisham, the author, 61, and Mary McCormack, is a lovely lady at 47. John Grisham is only 61? I know, Did he, he looks write about his 62. First book when he was 18? Yeah, yeah, he's been that around a while. Wow, yeah. Wow, wow. Okay, yeah, we mentioned the Black History yes. Bowl quiz, quiz bowl going yes. on. 
We've got a ribbon cutting coming up on Saturday, okay. which is February 13th, yeah. and it's going to be on Errington Bridge Road at Heritage Farm uh, oh. General Store. And if you've not been, you need to go by you know this what? place. I, I've been this watching is, that place. Is it, it is. When you walk in, you go, wow, this is right here in our own community. The young ladies um, who are running this store um, and have brought this product and, and transformed it uh, and, and pushed it all over the country. Mm. All over the country. All over the country. Um, our Esther, Ivy, Paul, yeah, and yes, and Marlo, Ivy, um, Vaughn, and this is a Cheshire breed pork. Um, they've got everything you could dream of: pork and um, all the meats and and novelty items that have their logo on it. Mm -hmm. and they have the best logo. They have the best logo. I love looking at logos. And if you've not seen it, Google it and you'll see what I'm talking about. All right, what's the name it of it? One more Heritage time. Heritage Farms. Okay. Um, Heritage, oh, like Farms, Heritage Farms. Cheshire Pork. Okay. Um, and these ladies have opened a store at 145 Arrington Bridge Road. And at 11 o'clock, we're going to have a ribbon cutting with and them. And if you're on 117, you can see it from Highway Thank 117. Thank you. Yes, you can. You can see and it, right, it used right there to be. It was like a furniture store. It was a furniture before. store for a yeah. while. It's been a lot of things, but this is going to make it yeah. because, man, they're this doing it right. This is wonderful. So they've got obviously an online presence, yeah. but I do um, distinctly remember when they first started this business yeah. a couple of years ago. Um, you know, I was talking to Esther and she was like, well, we've gotten in at the Biltmore and the Chef and the Farmer, and now they're in New mm. York. I mean, their presence is pretty remarkable and they are wow. Wayne County. So All right. Wayne County Woo. loving agriculture and um, and great to see stories just like this. That's great. Well Kate, we're late, we gotta go. That's great. Story of my life. E I O. Here we go. <laughs> That's the farmer talk, you know. <laughs> Anyway, we got to do this. We'll be back tomorrow morning. Remember, the show runs and repeats at noon as well as 5.30 p.m. So we'll see you at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning if you're awake. And we'll be right here. Hope you're right there. And until then, I'm Wayne Alley. And I'm Kate Daniels. And this is Wayne Goldsboro Television.